Hole 11 is really tough, a long par 5 which usually plays straight into the wind. There are a number of alternate tees which give slightly different lines, but the yellow tees are here on the left. They sit behind the heather and below the fairway, so you may not have a clear view for your first shot. You want to be aiming out towards the right of the fairway, and if you can see them, aim just left of the bunkers down the right-hand side. Your next shot is just as tricky. You want to aim just right of centre to avoid the fairway bunker, but too far right and you're off the fairway and in trouble. We're short of the green and this is the best place to play your approach shot from. If the wind is strong, you may choose to play a low chip and run rather than flying in a high pitch shot. Just short of the green, the fairway drops away. You may need to factor this into your approach shot. There is no easy miss to this green with bunkers left and right, steep slopes front and left and out of bounds at the back. South African John Bland won the 1983 Benson and Hedges International by beating Bernard Langer by one stroke. Bland joined the Senior Tour in 1995 and took the London Masters that year, but it was over 13 years before he took his second victory, making him the second oldest winner on the Seniors Tour and the longest gap between wins. Bland came as the biggest thrill of his old career came in 1996 when he played with Arnold Palmer for the first time at the US Senior PGA Championship and recorded his first hole-in-one on the Champions Tour.